Hello, welcome back to my channel. We have some subscriber requests, so let's jump right into them. Let's open up our file. Okay, so what they wanted to do was have a multiple green screen effect, the chroma key. They wanted to take out not just one color, but also another color, thus revealing something behind it. In this case, a video. So let's go ahead and teach how to do that today. Let's bring in our overlay which is just a green background and two different color shapes. I am going a little fast because this is not a beginner's tutorial. This is a quick and advanced tutorial. But if you need to start with the basics, I'll put a card up here in the corner. Let's grab some video. Here's me in a drive through of McDonald's. Bring that down. And let's get another video of, I think this is sitting outside of the McDonald's. And we'll bring that down. Now normally when you do the green screen effect or the chroma key, you want your background and the very bottom layer because it's kind of like gravity and everything just kind of falls down to the bottom. But in this case, they want to have an overlay effect. So again, they're going to want to get rid of that color and that color. But the problem is, how do you have multiple chroma keys going on in the same video? Let me show you. So here's the overlay. Let's make an exact copy it up here keyboard control V I'm gonna mute the audio on these so it doesn't make noise every time I click somewhere and remove that so everything is now lined up we have this on top of this they're exactly the same so let's start with the first one let's give it a chroma key advanced dropper orange quickly go into the second one give it a filter and filters. Click right there. Chroma key advanced. Dropper blue. So now this is, I look here, my orange layer. This is my blue layer. This way we don't get lost because we're going to do a couple more things and it's, uh, it's nice to know where we're at. Next we're going to add is a crop rectangle. Now we don't want these to really overlap too much onto the other but if they do it's okay so right there like that and what that what crop means is only this will be visible but we have all this dark in the background so click transparent let that stuff come through now I know you see some right there hey we didn't do the blue yet don't worry about that that's just a temporary that'll go away right now Let's go to the blue layer and add our crop. And this one is going to go over here. Now notice I didn't touch the up and down right here or the left and right right there because those are perfect the way they are. Leave, I'm going to leave these alone. The only one I'm messing with is this little dot right here. So bring that one right there. Go back to the top. See, this one goes to right over there. And let's click the eye on that one. So this is the green overlay on this side. And let's pick this first video. We will give it a size position rotate. And let's make it small. These aren't cut to exact size, so you'll get the idea. But that video is right there. And then let's go to this next video. Let's uh, now let's reveal the second layer. We'll turn off the top layer, and we will click on the second video. We will give it a size, position, and rotate. We can't see anything because this crop right here. We did not click the transparent, so that's better. So second overlay, second video giving it a size position rotate making it small that one's going over here a little bit bigger so now we'll turn the top overlay back on so uh, let's click over here to get rid of this box so we can actually see what's happening click there okay now let's go right here and when we hit play we'll have two independent movies going on Moving, moving 
them. So, two different videos, two different spots, same overlay. I think this is the effect that the subscribers have been going for. And you can use this same crop trick to apply multiple blurs in uh, one video. Normally when you do a blur you can only do one area but when you do this duplication effect and have the crop going that way and this crop going that way you can actually blur something on this side and then blur something on this side over here too. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did please consider subscribing and sharing the video. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.